Hi, Taurus. This is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Always practice good discernment. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Taurus. Also, Taurus, thank you for your likes. Those likes really do help spread positive karma, and we all like that positive karma, don't we? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Taurus. Also, Taurus, let's talk about that full moon that will be happening in Taurus the 28th of October. That full moon in Taurus will also be accompanied by a lunar eclipse. And that is going to bring some powerful and changing energy, energy into this realm, into this being, and especially for the sign of Taurus, you can expect to experience that shift, that change in energy, even more so than any of the other zodiac signs. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Taurus. And that lunar eclipse will bring in big news and life-changing events that are really about the emotional nature, that really are about the emotional, or really about the spiritual. And during this time, Taurus, you may be prone, or we will be prone to really experience um, a lot of memories, a lot of thoughts from our of the past and we may be even experiencing emotionally charged dreams at this time doris you are the star of this lunar eclipse and really do expect really mind-blowing changes like, uh, especially on a personal nature, of a personal nature. And here we have the Page of Wands as the foundation, as the underlying message of this reading. And the Page of Wands is ready to move forward. The Page of Wands is ready to take that first step in his journey. And we have the Page of Swords, but you're looking back. You're ready to take the next step, but you keep looking back. Let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading here, Taurus. In your in your professional life, in your public life, in your career life. Making the magic happen. Fertile soil. Finding balance and the sun. There's been a power struggle between the Queen of Swords or the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. There's been 
uh, power struggles and they are making things difficult for everyone concerned. And so it's almost like there's two people that are working together, are, are sharing the same space that each has clear and distinctive ideas and thoughts on how things should be done or how things should occur. And they're both correct. There's not really a right or wrong answer, but they're just totally different ideas. And this is causing everyone in the workplace or in the workspace or in the area to put up their defenses and to be on guard. I don't know if these two people are making it to where it's, you have to choose me or it's my way or no way, or this is the way that it's doing. And maybe if you're going to seek advice or find advice, you get um, two different answers. You get um, two different ways to approach the problem, approach the situation. And while both ways of approaching the situation or fixing the problems may be correct, they're different and they're opposite. And it's really making it difficult um, to make a decision, to make a choice, to um, perform in this environment effectively. And Taurus, you know, Taurus, you, you are the sign of the bull and you do have a stubborn streak. You do have, um, you are very strong willed and very strong minded. And it may be time to admit that this is a characteristic that you have, this is, uh, and I think that that is what it has you stuck. And if, Taurus, if we are able to embrace our stubbornness and see that that is a challenge that we have taken in this life to overcome a challenge in our lives and make adjustments to be a little more giving and a little more flexible, then we can really shift that energy, really shift that energy that will bring about peace of mind and will bring about the type of work environment that you would like to be in, that you are wanting to create. In your home life, in your private life, Here we have the richest card in the deck and justice and strength. These are just beautiful cards here for you in your personal life, Taurus. You have made up your mind. 
you have made up your mind. You are preparing the feast. You're preparing the banquet. You're getting ready. You're making way for what this is that you have made up your mind on. And you really do want this to work out. And is it, you really want this to work out? Is somebody, somebody sharing a gift with you? Are you sharing a gift with someone else that will bring in pleasure? And you will, is it the gift of the support that you've been looking for? Gift of, you are receiving a gift that you have been looking for. You are receiving the support that you have been looking for in order to achieve what it is that you've made up your mind for to achieve. Final thoughts, final messages. You've been hiding something about yourself and it's been causing stress and I wouldn't be surprised if you're having some emotionally charged dreams because of what you've been hiding, what you've been keeping to yourself, what you've been not sharing. What you have been not sharing with the world. A part of your shadow self something you've been in disguise you've been hiding something about yourself from the world not only from those close to you but you've been hiding this from the world and it's been causing you sleepless nights and it's been causing you stress and I emotionally charged dreams. Something about your shadow self you know part of our life's purpose here is to discover and embrace those parts of our shadow self, Taurus. It's only when we embrace those parts of our shadow selves, when we open up and really let the world know who it is that we truly are at our core, it is only then that we are able to manifest. It's only then that we are able to live a truly happy and blessed life. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Taurus. Thank you, Taurus. You have a blessed week.